Nats Coit Tower, perched high atop Telegraph Hill here in San Francisco. We're just about set for action. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. With Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. DA, take it away. Well, Kevin, thank you. And Kevin Porter Jr. has a new start with the Rockets. His game has been compared to James Harden's. Porter said, being a lefty, creating off the dribble, that extra swag with the step back, I couldn't ask for a better comparison, honestly. He's unguardable. And Porter Jr. should know, guys, he's the youngest ever to drop a 50-point double-double with assists. That was an impressive performance. David, thank you for that story. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. We'll take a look at the Warriors. They like where they stand right now, perched in that topmost position. And, of course, there's the Rockets. They're at the bottom of the conference. And, well, for the Warriors, got to be one of the feel-good stories of this NBA season. Not many people were talking about them coming into the start of the year. No doubt about it. They're one of the top teams everyone's talking about, top to bottom. Everyone in the organization, that means front office, coaches, players, just done an outstanding job this season. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Order in the backcourt with Green to his side. The forwards for them, Tate and Tice. And it's Wood in at the center position. And for the Warriors. Inside for them, it's Green and Looney. Here we go. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. And tonight, a battle between conference rivals. Brett, these teams know each other very well. Always fun to see in these kind of matchups, Kevin, if a coaching staff on either side decides to throw a wrench in the works and play a player or a combination of players the other team is not expecting. Like you said, they know each other very well, but who will execute tonight? They'll get the win. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Tyus finds Wood. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Tate on the arc. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. Yeah, no question. When he is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor, it is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. Looney passes to Poole. Looney kicks to Curry. Over Porter. Curry's shot is off. Now, here's Tate. Tight defense on him. Porter passes to Tice. To the middle. It's tipped from 12 feet out. And that one off the back of the rim and in. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins for the three. It's rebounded by Tice. And it's Porter with the ball for the Rockets. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And this, the first of three games these two teams will play against one another this season. Now here's Curry. It's hauled in by Wood. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Now here's Tate covered by Wiggins. Now, here's Tate. Let's it go with a three. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And now, let's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast-break teams from a season ago. Number five, the Warriors. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Here's Curry. It's good. Curry's got his second basket of the night. Steph's such an ideal pick-and-roll guy. The threat of the long ball always there. So whether he's shooting or passing, the defense has a hard time keeping up. Now here's Green. Porter looking it over. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. Shoots it up. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Well, gravity is very, very real, and Steph Curry has the most of any NBA player right now. And so Houston again turning it over. Golden Let's State. look at the stats Basketball. for Wiggins. Last year, getting it done. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Five rebounds and two assists. And he's done his share of the work for the team. Definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around. And he's not letting the team down. Now here's Curry. We saw him with 19 points his last out. The defense has all eyes on Stephen. He exploits that with a dish. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Brent, when you talk about the gravity of Curry, explain what you mean. Well, Kevin, any time that he's on the floor, when he crosses half court, all five defenders are paying attention to where Steph is. The more he moves, the more he shifts around the incredible attention of all five defenders. And when guys make one misstep, or you have two defenders make one misstep to carry their way to where Steph Curry is, it opens up easier opportunities on any possession. That's what we're talking about when we speak on Steph's gravity. to check out the stats for Green. Good season for him last year. Fourth in assists, and he was also one of the league's most aggressive ball-hawking defenders, finishing top five in steals. And as you said, dishing out dimes at a top five pace, he was in total command of the offense last season. Look for more good things to come. And the foul called on Kavon Looney. That is his first foul of the game. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Kate finds Porter. Green taking his time here. Pass to Wood. Now, here's Tate. Five to shoot. A nice effort from Draymond. Great position there to contest. Tate, no good. Poked loose. It's stolen by Tice. Porter against Curry. Porter dishes to Green. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now, here's Curry. The pass to Poole. Looney kicks to Wiggins. Golden State moving the ball around. Rocket six. From 13, that one good for two. Curry's got six. It's a testament to Curry's awareness of everything that's going on around him. No one better at finding some space for a shot. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Curry. Rocket ball. Outside, green. Back to Porter, launches a three. One up, one down, two points with his first shot this game. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Curry's shot is good. And he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Here's Green, and it's Houston with another. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Passes it to Looney. On the wing, Wiggins. Outside Curry. Good on the triple. 11 points in the game. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Porter passes to Green. Yeah. 
That one doesn't drop. So Golden State will take it the other way. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. So, so active defensively. And I love when they did force a turnover, they just flat out attacked. The points they got off turnovers swung the game in their favor. Now here's Porter after the miss from Stephen Curry. Take the pass to Wood. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's his second personal And you know, we talk about how Wood has moved around the league. He also attended three different high schools. So he's been searching for direction for a long time. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. throw good wood and now wood is laser focused putting up all-star numbers over long stretches and you look at where he started compared to where he is now wood may be one of the most improved players we've ever seen especially if he continues to ascend from here catching up on the changes for golden state by Elitza. he's checked in for looney and it's damian lee in for jordan Poole. he was able to tie it up he has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. Outside Curry. Takes it inside. Let's it go from 11. Nice jump shot. Good. Curry's got 13. And Curry kicking it up a notch right now, not slowing him down on offense. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. And you cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost them. And the Warriors making a change here. Kaminga's checked in. Here's Shengun. Take the pass to Garuba. Here's Gordon. Six to shoot. Here's Shengun. Pass to Tate. From outside the arc, drills the three-pointer. He's got six. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Lee outside. Pass to Curry. Higgins outside. Another three for Golden State. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes? Right now, it's a shootout. Now, here's Porter. He just could not put it together in that loss to Denver. And not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's Wiggins. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And now a four-point warrior lead. Houston's gone three or four on three-pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. And the pass to Shengu. Chalk up two there. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. Here's Wiggins. The Rockets making the shot. It's tipped. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Warriors? Two shots. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. Ray! 
No good on the free throw. For those teams, Greg, that had head coaching changes, how long does it take to fully implement a new system? Well, it, it typically takes a full season, and it also depends just on how complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. And he sinks the second. Here's Kaminga. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Moody. Some nice passing by Golden State. Pass to Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires the three. Shengun with the rebound. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. To the inside. Shakes him. And he sinks the layup. Assistant. You talked about Eight a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Now well, here's Wiggins. He's coming off a 16-point game against New Orleans. Has to lead. Puts up a three. Waba with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Waba with it. He's covered by Bielitsa. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal foul. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. That free throw, good from Nwaba. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Golden State's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. The Elitza, that balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. High Elitza's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Gordon against Lee. Now here's Gordon. Not a lot of room. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Terrific play by Eric Gordon to force the issue there and get the defense to overcommit on the jump shot. The Rockets shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. Real good, Gordon. Porter's checked in for the Warriors. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Martin's checked in. All free throws good from Eric Gordon. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw Lee passes to Moody over Nwaba and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up and if you need help spacing the floor Moody's your guy he's a nightmare to defend an elite three point shooter you have to go out and guard him but if you close out too hard he can put the ball on the floor and take advantage of the driving lane so pick your poison Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Moody.
That one is no good. And it's Porter with the ball for the Rockets. Here's Mwaba. No good off the back of the rim. The Warriors trailing. Outside, Porter. 102 left here in the opening quarter. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And the Warriors miss again. For Houston, they've gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Outside, Gordon. Now back to Nwaba. The Warriors pull it in. It's Bialica, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. The shot and game clock separated by four. Here's Porter, and Moody pulls it down. And it's Kaminga at the elbow. Moody the pass to Kaminga. Over Nwaba. Offensive rebound. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Rockets ahead, up by one. We've got more in store for you right after this. In his rookie season, Kevin Porter came off the bench. Now he's in Houston. He's a starter. And he analyzed the change in mentality. You know, coming off the bench, you kind of have a feel for the game already watching it. And um, starting, you're starting off. So um, just got to start fast. And um, I got to come in ready to play from the, from the jump. And when Porter gets out to a hot start, Greg, he's shown he's capable of some big nights. And finding some success with the Rockets, Kevin. Now it's all about consistency and finding ways to win games. Eric Gordon. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what do you think? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Okay. So on the floor for Houston, David Nwaba out there with Martin. Then there's Kevin Porter. Then there's Gordon. And it's Shangun in at the center, filling out the middle. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Houston Rockets are rebuilding. And that's a hard pivot for a team that, until last season, was pursuing titles. The new front office has been candid. It's presented challenges as they look to go young and stack up draft picks. They plan to make constant bets on unproven talent as they build toward the future. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And the Warriors with possession here. After Eric Gordon's three-pointer that didn't go. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now here's Gordon. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Nuggets in Denver. And down the road, great. Which current player might make for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, Man, Two Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well, but I got a sneaky suspicion he'd just rather own the team. And the first one drops. And the Warriors with some changes. Kevon Looney is checked in for Bielitsa. Green comes in for Kaminga. And Poole subbed in for Damian Lee. And Gordon drops them both. Golden State's gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. 
near the three-point line. It's Poole. Rockets with the rebound. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Left side, Gordon. Misses from short range. Yeah, and you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now, here's Poole. He's Watch. been patient so far. Sign Nothing up. on the scoreboard yet. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That is his first foul of the game. Porter. The pass to Poole. Shot clock at six. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And the Warriors lead by two. The awareness, something people don't always talk enough about with Porter. That's a great find there. Outside for Martin. They get a hand on it. Here's Christopher. Another miss by Houston. And here's the fast break. Porter leading the way. Passes to Poole. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Pass to Gordon. Shot clock at five. That one wide left. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. Pass to Moody. Outside Porter. Green inside. He's against Gordon. The Rockets trail. to the basket. No question, he got bumped on that shot. That's his first personal foul. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. At the line for the Rockets, Eric Gordon taking two shots. Free throw missing. Uh, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. That's off as well. So he misses both. That's a, a strange trip because typically he's pretty much money from there. Back to Green. Outside Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Curry's got the lead up to five now for the Warriors. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Curry against Gordon. Off the mark, and the drop continues. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Here's Curry and block. That one goes careening off the glass. Outside green. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. Poole on the wing. Over Gordon. Doesn't go for him. And it's Houston the other way. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Ooh, that three-pointer right there hurts. The former Indiana Hoosier really can bury those threes in bunches. Curry kicks to Porter. 
Now, here's Poole, headed by Green. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. That one goes on Wood. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The Warriors have converted one of two free throws so far today. Taking a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. And he knocks down the first one. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Porter. All free throws good from Poole. Rockets trail by four. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Now here's Green. He's tightly guarded. Green against Tice. Green dishes to Kerr. Tipped away. Gordon against Wiggins. Gordon kicks to Green. Misses the three. Warriors leading by four. Wiggins with it. He's got seven. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And Wiggins showing a bit of strength, even with that frame of his, able to take the punishment and still get the score. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Third team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins, one shot. One shot. And the free throw, no good. Uh, Wiggins has been carrying the, the torch, so to speak, for Canada as he's come in and Golden been one of the most foul. celebrated prospects Andrew from that country Wiggins. in a long time. And that's the tough part of trying to keep him on the floor. Now he picks up that third foul. Green finds Tate. Back to Green. Six to shoot. Outside Gordon. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Gordon's it's got 10 points in the quarter. And once Eric Gordon receives that pass, he's just rising up, so a natural rhythmic jump shot. And the first thing you notice about Green, the next level athleticism, incredible burst off the dribble, and makes smooth adjustments midair. It's good. Curry's got 18 points. They are just killing him on the interior. Gordon kicks to Tate. Pass to Garuba from downtown. A shot off that time, and it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And one can only imagine what Green will be like, great, with a little time. And still refining the shot release, still working on getting others involved. But we haven't seen a two guard into the league with this much potential in quite some time. Riggins outside. Kicks it to Green. Down low. It's rebounded by Tice. Rockets trail by three. Outside Gordon. Passes it to Garuba. Here's Tice. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. Rockets have made seven of the last 12 attempts at the line. Shooting for Houston, Daniel Tice. At the line for two. That's good from Tice. And the Warriors with some changes. Bielitsa 
He checks in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's Damian Lee in for Jordan Poole. And a switch here also for Houston. Porter's checked in for Gordon. So he hits one of two from the strike. And Greg, just from the eye test, Kaminga's built like a guy who's in his late 20s. And physically, he's got some LeBron James to him. Great natural strength, fast, explosive off the floor. When he puts his head down and goes to the bucket, he can be unstoppable. Knocked loose. Curry with the steal. That's down the hatch. Knocks one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Lee against Green. Pass to Tate. Floats one. Raymond Green grabs the miss. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. Four-point game. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. And here is Kaminga. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Lee kicks to Bialitz. And another three for Golden State. The elite said when he gets those feet set, that shot looks so good. Ball's knocked loose. Curry with the steal. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's a nine-point Warrior lead. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Green against Lee. Green, the pass to Garuba. Shoots over Curry. Garuba's shot is off. Warriors leading by nine. Dishes it to Curry. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Back to Bill Yitza. Over Porter. That is good off the back rim and in. Bialitza has got five points now this quarter. Well, the game's four quarters, and after a tough first half, he's found his rhythm in the second. Porter dishes to Green. Looking to end the run. The putback. Rebound by Bialitza. Golden State's gotten it going from downtown in the second quarter. They're 3-3 three three on three-pointers. Lee outside. Back to Curry. Pocket six. They double-team Curry. Kaminga. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his third assist on the night. Looking to get it going. And it's Green with the jam. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Poked away. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody down. And Green slams it in. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Pass to Bialitsa. And the Warriors making a change here. Hootie's checked in. Houston making a switch here. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. Lee up top. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. It's blocked. There's the pass to Nwaba. Finished off the break. Nwaba has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Rockets. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Now, here's Bielitsa. He had 13 points in the win against New Orleans. Just five to shoot. Tries again, and it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain the possession here. And 
And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Houston ball. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He ended up with 22 points, three steals, and three assists. Big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, they've shown a lot of discipline at the offensive end. It's not about getting the quick shots, it's about getting the good shot. And if you want to know how that approach is working, just check out their field goal percentage. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Houston? Their perimeter defense was lackluster, to say the least. Shooters were getting open shots, guys were wide open. I mean, right now, I can walk off the set, in shoot, in a shoot, and get three threes wide open and knock them down on that defense. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Curry has been sensational. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Rockets trail by eight. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Inside for them, it's Green and Looney. And it's Moody in at the small forward. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Curry passes to Moody. Poole with it, guarded by Green. Poole no good. And it's Porter with the ball for Houston. Green kicks to Porter, passes it to Wood. It's stolen by Curry. Inside. Poole with it. He's against Green. And Poole gets it to go. Poole's got his second bucket of the night. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. There's Porter at the three. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. Golden State moving the ball around. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That's his second. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Wiggins is checked in for Golden State. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Here's Poole. Six on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Houston. Outside, Porter. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Tate with the ball. Curry meets him. 
And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Nice D from Porter. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Tate the pass to Porter. There's three corners off the mark. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Now here's Green. He's got ten. Shoots over Poole. That one a little long. I mean, he looked like he rushed it a bit. The defense wasn't terrible, but still, he's got to knock that down. To the inside, Looney, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his second personal foul. Well, the foul. defender was all over second Kevon Looney, foul. and he got physical right back. That's a nice play. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Kevon Looney at the line for two. First free throw is good. If you have the good fortune of playing next to superstars in this league, there are certain guys who thrive in that environment, and Kavon Looney has been one of them. And he makes both free throws. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Wood. Ty's trying to break free. Wood can't hit. Warriors leading by 10. Here's Wiggins. The Rockets pull it in. Green's got six rebounds now in the game. Rule with the steal. One on one fast break. Count it good. Pool's no. got eight points. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Porter passes to Tate. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Near the three point line, it's Pool. Rockets with the rebound. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Here's Looney. Curry kicks to Poole. They double-team Curry. Oh, that's blocked. Now, here's Tate. Over Green. Green with the block. You can see Draymond Green so fired up every time he has a chance to impact the game defensively. Gets trailed by 12. Well, Draymond Green holding everybody accountable. We've seen this before. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And so often, Draymond Green is called the heart of this team. Well, he's been such a great leader since his time at Michigan State. He's out there barking directions to his offensive players. He's out there barking defensive assignments. He's barking at his coach. I just the list goes on but that energy is infectious and helps lead his team to greater heights. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Christian Wood had that breakout campaign back in the 2019-2020 season with Detroit earning himself a huge free agent deal 
Great to see Christian's hard work pay off. Gordon's checked in for Houston. Both free throws good from Wood. Warriors leading by 10. Here's Curry. He's got 22. They double team Curry. On three pointer, Wiggins down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Wiggins making quick decisions with the ball, not wasting any time getting that shot off. Pass to Dice. Bounce pass tape. Wood can't hit. Golden State's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Golden State moving it around. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Tice. Curry against Porter. The dish now to Gordon. But three. Good and a nice assist Here's from Porter. Porter. Three points. Porter's got three assists now in this one. And they run the pick and roll right there to perfection as Gordon gets the shot to go. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. Than he wants oh, to. you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now here's Gordon. 15 points in the game. Well, it's one thing to play good defense, but then to alter the shot and get the rebound, that's a good day's work. Cool, the pass to Green. Two free throws Houston coming foul. up, and they call the shooting foul. That's yeah, we know he's undersized foul. for the position, but Draymond Green does the work of several men, including how he forces the D that time Draymond foul. Green. The Warriors have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line of the game. First one falls for him. A lot of talk surrounding Draymond Green between the coaches and the teammates is the fact that he's the emotional leader of this team. Now, sometimes that's in accord with what you do, and sometimes it keeps you a little off balance, but no doubt Draymond Green is the spark for this ball club. By Alitza, he's checked in for the Warriors. Lee comes in for Poole. And both free throws good for Green. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Got a piece of it, and it's out of bounds. Um, nice touch by Curry. Basketball. Here's Wood. Pass to Gordon. Let's the free fly. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Warriors. And they've made the long range look like a layup at times in this one, guys. The other impressive part about their offense tonight has been their ability to get inside off the bounce. Lots of points in there. And he's good on the first of three. And Brent, you played for the Spurs who pioneered player rest. More and more teams have followed that suit over the seasons, calling it load management, even risking fines. Any concern with the way things are done? Well, I understand the, the fans' complaint. You know, to think about being a 10-year-old boy or girl and, and LeBron James is coming to your city and it's a load management day and he's not playing. And so... The league understands it. It understands it from its broadcast partners and the way that they want the star players to be involved in, in every game that they play. And they've tried to adjust the schedule and moved it around a little bit, doing away with back-to-backs. I, I think it'll be a constant battle, uh, but the organizations are investing in these players, and health is their number one issue. They want them to play as many games for as long as they can, 
at an elite level. So we'll see how it goes in the next couple of years. And the foul on Andrew Wigan. That's his fifth foul. And the Rockets with possession here. Trailing by 13. Now Porter. He's got six. He kicks it to Gordon. Martin's in the post. Guarded by Kerr. Martin, the pass to Gordon. Clock at four. Over Lee. Not enough on that one as it misses. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. The elites are with the bucket. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Christopher. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And there's the pass to Gordon. To the paint. Here's Martin. Count the basket. Incredible assist there from Gordon. Just an awesome job getting his teammates involved in that play. Lee with the ball. Higgins outside. The shot, no good. And Houston the other way now. Outside, Porter. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. Wiggins has got six rebounds now in the game. Right side, Lee passes it to Curry. Wiggins outside. Curry is inside. That ball's nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists in the game. Knocked away. Pass to Christopher. Back to Gordon. Three-pointer. And Curry pulls it down. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Violates a pass to Curry. Watching Curry is an education on how to take advantage of whatever the defense is throwing your way. It's his first trip to the line. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. The first one falls. And Curry grew up around this game. His father raised him around the NBA and you have to think that that's the root of some of that incredible and deep love for the sport. Moody's checked in for Golden State. That one falls so he hits both of them. Here's Gordon. 16 points for him. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Timeout called the Rockets. Yeah, his shot is just not there tonight, guys. And instead of trying to shoot himself out of the slump, maybe he needs to start moving the ball around and creating for his teammates. with the steal. 
Now, here's Moody. Nwaba defending. That's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. 17-point game. Pass to Martin. Ball's knocked loose. As the Golden State Warriors turning it over again. And here is Curry. He's got 26. Now the pass to Bialica. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Bialica's got five points now in the quarter. Gordon, the pass to Christopher. To stop the run. Rebound by Bialica. Bialica's got five rebounds tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Timeout call for Rockets. And a wise move to call timeout there. They need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here. It shows with their turnover numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors dance team. Houston's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're 6 of 15. Gordon against Porter. Gordon kicks to Nwaba. Six to shoot. Here's the three. And he's good on the three ball. Gordon's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Rockets. Violates a pass to Lee. And here is Curry. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the third. Martin with the block. He dishes it to Gordon. Back to Martin. And finished off by Martin. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Outside Curry. Pass to Bialic. Takes the three. And the rebound goes to Martin. Rockets trail by 18. And Bialic is a terrific shooter. A big man, Brent, with real range, capable of really stretching the floor. Yeah, and I hate to just talk about Bielitsa as a pure shooter, and it's the only thing he does. There have been moments where he can make a play with the ball and, and make some good reads, but it is the shooting strength and the ability to draw out bigger players that really provide the juice from Bielitsa. Christopher, that's good. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Down low, here's Porter, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And the basket by Gordon. Wow, it just feels like Eric Gordon is sinking everything right now. He's definitely the team's number one option on the offensive end. Pass to Bialica. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Bialica's got seven now in this quarter. Rockets trail by 17. Now here's Gordon. 21 points in the game. Lays it up off the glass. Gordon. Gordon's got 11 in the second half. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Warriors lead by 15. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway.
and a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. We've got Green and it's Shengun in at the five down low. It's Bialica and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance That's at the line. First personal foul, first key, key foul. for Bialica is confidence, attacking and trying to find ways to do different types of damage in the game. Taking two That free throw, no good. Now, Bielitsa, a big guy who flows into offensive possessions and becomes an invaluable player in terms of the type of floor spacing you would want from a shooting big. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney comes in for Otto Porter Jr. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. And a switch here also for Houston. Tate's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Here's Nwaba. And here's Green outside. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Pass to Moody. Looney down low. And David Mwaba picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Bialitsa. Coming out of the floor for your Warriors, Raymond Green. Lee outside. Some nice passing by Golden State. Cool, no good. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. Garuba, the pass to Green. Here's Shengun. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his fourth person foul. First team foul. At the line for the Rockets. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Yeah. And he makes the first. And the Rockets making a change here. Porter's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. You don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now, here's Poole. Buries it from three-point range. And the Warriors lead by 14. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one here's moody it's rebounded by houston 
Shingun's got his sixth rebound on the night. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. Warriors leading by 14. Now Poole. The pass to Moody. Tipped away. Just five on the clock. I'm deep. Rockets with the rebound. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Here's Porter. No good that time. Warriors have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of this is just the one make. Moody the pass to Poole. Lee against Porter. Lee outside. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got six rebounds in the game. To the inside. Garuba. Good. And a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got four assists now tonight. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Now, here's Poole. Passes to Moody. Shot by Post. Buries the jump shot. And the Warriors lead by 14. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Houston Rockets. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Pass to Tate. Here's Shengun. On the wing, Green. Guarded by Poole. Tate, no good. Warriors leading by 14. And here is Moody. Pass to Poole. Back to Green. The pass to Poole. Beyond the arc. The offensive rebound. Looney with the bucket. Looney in the right spot there. Good presence on the inside as he boxes the defense out and sends the ball right up. Now here's Porter. Kicks it to Green. To the left side wing. Tate with the ball. Looney on him. That's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Here's Moody. Passes it to Lee. Tate with the ball. He's picked up by Lee. Here's Porter. Off the left rim and out. Warriors leading by 16. Here's Looney. Pass to Poole. Now, here's Moody. Here's Green. Shingun with the rebound. Shingun's got rebound number eight now on the night. Garuba the pass to Green. Tate with the ball. Pocket six. To end the drought. Green, no luck. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Lee outside. Back to Green. Pass to Looney. Out to Lee. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Andrew Wiggins, who's checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Damian Lee. Rockets trail by 16. Outside, Green. 
And there's the pass to Tate. From deep, Wood. And they recover it. Tice with the ball. Now defended by Wiggins. Just four to shoot. Green passes to Wood. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And a fantastic decision maker. Wood recognizes when he should shoot once he catches the pass. Passes it to Looney. Good D by Wood. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Green. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. He gets that one. Warriors leading by 12. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Welcome your Warriors. 15. the New Balance player of the game. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. And the Rockets making a change here. Gordon's checked in. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thanks. Now here's Gordon after the miss from Stephen Curry. Gordon with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Tate kicks to Tice. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. Wood passes to Tice. Second chance shot, and Looney sends it back. Well, nice defense from Looney, able to totally upset the shot because of his positioning. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. And it's blocked. Now, here's Tate, guarded close, and they're able to recover. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Tice. They've been looking out of sorts for the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. Giving up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Porter kicks to Tate. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got five assists in the game. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Now here's Curry. They double-team Curry. True on the 14-footer. Looney's got four points this quarter. Well, Looney can knock those down. It helps out the entire offense. It's going to start to space the floor. Timeout call for Rockets. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go and get back on track. Welcome your Warriors. 15. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors. 15. Side. Here's Wood. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And really, every team had the chance to sign Wood early on, but passed. And this man just kept working, and now when healthy, he's becoming a force. shots. Yeah. 
And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Now here's Curry. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Houston. Tate's only got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Gordon. Pass to Porter. Trying to break that ice cold streak. No good. The Warriors go the other way. Earlier, they held a 23 point lead. Here's Wiggins. It's hauled in by Wood. It's trailed by seven. To the middle. Here's Tate. Good. And a nice assist from Porter. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Curry on the wing. They double team Curry. Back to Poole. Green dishes to Curry. Yep, it counts. 31 points for Stephen Curry. Wow, what a setup there. Green plays with great speed and plays with great pace. And that's a nice field play. Here's Wood. Left side, Porter. Five on the clock. It's rebounded by Golden State. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or in these spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Third team foul. The line for the Dubs. Stephen Curry. The line for two. It's the first that stretches their lead to eight. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a nine point ball game here. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Houston Rockets. Here's the three. Buries the long-range jumper. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deal. They double-team Curry. Here's Green. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. About Draymond rising up into the contact. He's a good offensive player. He finds his way this time to get to the free throw line. Bring on Green. Taking two shots. Two shots. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And the second of two is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. And I'm sure he would like to have had all of those, but he's still able to pad the lead. To the paint, here's Wood. Yes, and the foul. Looney, and so he's picked up his final foul. He will sit for the rest of this game. 
Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie bar the door. At the line for the Warriors, Stephen Curry. Drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven-point game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're down by seven. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Tice for three. Rebound by Bialica. The clock now can just run out for the Warriors. Outside Curry. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.
verified approval gives you an edge on your offer. I did. When you need a competitive edge in a housing game, Rocket can. We got reports of suspicious people. Ever criminals? I don't think so. I have to defend my house. Retro tie. <laughs> Have you tried these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tie. The loudest flavors ever. Morning already? Taco Bell's toasted breakfast burritos will get you out of bed. With fluffy eggs, crispy bacon.